Hello everyone, welcome back to another video today. So this is on Tuesday, but this video is recorded on Sunday because when I upload this video on Tuesday, uh, I'm on the way to Dubai from Japan. So um, I hope you enjoyed today's recorded video session. So for those who are new to my channel, my name is K, like a little K over here. My name is K, and I am a Japanese full-time forex trader who uses Ichimoku Kinkohyo as a part of my main strategy. So um, on my YouTube channel, I mainly talk about the forex pairs and also the gold. And today's topic is about the pound JPY. Um, I expect pound JPY to be trending up as per Ichimoku confirmations. So I will first uh, introduce what I wrote uh, on my analysis on trading view and also um, I will explain what I can expect this week on this currency pair so let's get started let me squeeze my face and uh, all right there you go so um, just a quick disclaimer before starting here um, this information is basically uh, based on my knowledge and experience, so when you take trades, please do with your own risk. So here is my new TradingView account. Um, I used to have a older TradingView account, but that was not really active, and so I created the new one. And you can follow me on this TradingView. So um, today I up just uploaded one analysis on this uh, J uh, pound JPY here. So. And before that, um, let me introduce what I wrote on the 24th February. So on the 24th February, my analysis was like this. Um, so it was trending all the way up and the Kumo was trending up, Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen both moving up and Chikou span above the candles too. So this is no doubt uptrend but one thing was that the uh, there was a psychological line of 150 which is round number so the market tends to react by these round numbers 150 151 152 and so on so when i look at the chart on this 24th february the price was exactly at this psychological line round number so I, although the Kumo and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen Chikou Span everything was moving up, um, it could retrace, it could consolidate at this level. So basically, that's what I wrote uh, on this uh, below explanation here. And let me uh, show you my today's analysis on this currency pair. So after the 24th of February, um, as expected, the market consolidated, uh, but I still see that this is uptrending. So this week, I expect the market continues to go up bullish, and the reason is because, as per Ichimoku confirmations, um, the single span B is still up, A is still up, bars, and Kijun Sen is pointing upwards too, and Tenkan Sen became flat because now in short term it's consolidating. So Tenkan Sen being flat. But Chikou Span is above the candles. So I still expect the market goes up and breaks this psychological line, round number upwards. So and reaches to the next round number, which is 151, is the next target in this condition. So and also I draw um, the support line, sorry, the trend line like this. So the price, the market looks like to be supported by this trend line and also the Tenkan Sen. So every time I see charts, um, I, I see the pattern in the market. Like if I see the pattern time cycle or the wave analysis or the bounce, everything is about the patterns. So in this chart, uh, in this market, uh, first of all, I see the bounce by the trend line. So there are four times of uh, supports, one twice, and three times and four times of uh, support by the trend line. So I can see that the trend line has been working, so I can expect it will work uh, to the future. 
So the price could retrace because we are at the psychological line. So the price could retrace to the trend line, but um, once it reaches, it could uh, bounce and it could go upwards still to the next round number, 151. So that's one of my view. But once the market breaks the trend line, then it could go down to the Kijun Sen. So, um, so, that, so that I want to look for the buy chance. And also, uh, the market has been supported by the Tenkan Sen too. If you see these uh, four days over here, the market has been holded by the, uh, the Tenkan Sen. So next time when the market reaches back to the Tenkan Sen, it could bounce and continue to go up this way too. So the bottom line on this currency pair is that if the market breaks the trend line and also the Tenkan Sen, then it might reach back to the Kijun Sen. So once it happens, um, you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. And most likely when it happens, um, the Sen cross band B or the Kijun Sen um, most likely will be flat. So you know that's not a good timing to look for the buy chance then. Um, so that will be the daily analysis. And usually I look at the daily chart and also the four hour chart. So let me switch to the four hour chart and see what we, what we see here. So once again, this is on Sunday and I can see the ascending P wave. I see the lows are getting higher, um, the higher lows and the highs remaining the same. At the same level of this uh, 150.43 level, there are twice of the resistances over here or three times. So because this is in ascending P wave formation and the Tenkan Sen being above, the Kijun Sen in forward chart, this is too bullish. But once the market breaks, the Tenkan Sen, sorry, at the Kijun Sen in 4 and also this trend line, then it could go back to the Kumo. So when it happens, um, I won't look for the buy chance then. Well, the Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat anyways, so I won't look for a buy chance anyways. But because of these lines confirmations too, um, once it breaks, I can see that there is no more buying power, so it could retrace back to, backwards to the Kumo. So it depends on uh, your trading style, whether you choose daily chart or the four hour chart. But uh, if you see the market multiple time frames like this, and if you focus on these patterns as to which line or which indicator the market has been respecting and which one's not, so that uh, you can kind of uh, sense what can happen in the future. And you can create the scenario like this. So once the market breaks a trend line and also the Kijun Sen in 4, then you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. And also in the daily chart, once again, um, also the trend line breakout and also in this case the Tenkan Sen break. When it happens, then you don't want to look for the buy chance anymore. So that will be my analysis on this pound JPY. But as long as the price is above Tenkan Sen above the support line, then I continue to look for buy chance. And the stop loss will be either the trend line, below the trend line, or the uh, Tenkan Sen at that time in the daily chart, or the Kijun Sen in 4 hour chart. Alright, so let's see ha what happens this week. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, please press a good button and please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified as I do these videos and lives every day on my YouTube channel. So. I hope you stay safe, healthy, and stay gold. Bye for now. Matane. I say matane and that means see you in Japanese. So, matane everyone. See you in the next one. Bye for now.